my trip to New York in biblical perspective. How does it compare to heaven, and what can I learn from it? Well, New York is a big city. 8.5 million people, 120,000 city blocks, over 6,000 high-rise buildings, a phenomenal infrastructure. It's just amazing what man can accomplish. Then we think of heaven. It contains the new city, New Jerusalem, that is so large that it's able to comfortably house everyone who has ever been born or who will ever be born on this planet. Yet it's reserved for those who have been born again. New York, it's a beautiful city. One World Trade Center is an example of the modern beauty that they're famous for. They're skyscrapers. But you take Central Park into the equation, as well as their man-made landscape that's known worldwide, you have a city that's beautiful at any season. Heaven was so beautiful, it could only be described by being completely built with gold and precious jewels and stones, the most durable eternal substances known to man. Edison will be proud of New York because it's a bright city, many light bulbs. However, heaven, there'll be no need of light bulbs, for there's no need of the sun or the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. There are no light bulbs in heaven. But New York is a broken city. Criminal activity and behavior Infrastructure failure reaps havoc among the people, along with catastrophes both man-made and natural. They will destroy homes and take lives. But in heaven, there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but that which are written in the Lamb's book of life, and there shall be no more curse. A trip to New York is going to cost you some money. You're going to have to pay if you want any kind of transport to eat and to sleep. Everywhere you turn, someone's going to have their hand out wanting some money. Jesus Christ stretched out both his arms and he paid every price that we'd ever have to pay for our sin and for our entrance into heaven. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. My trip to New York in biblical perspective, well, we know how it compares to heaven. There is no comparison whatsoever. Heaven is a city which hath foundations whose builder and maker is God. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. God is not ashamed to be called our God, for he hath prepared for us a city. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's all about Jesus, and it's all about eternity.